Hey guys, welcome back to Creek Rise Outdoors. I am Scott and I am very thankful that you're with me today. When we bought this 180 acres, one of the parts of it that Randy and I really loved was this beautiful creek running through the middle of it. Uh, just gorgeous. We certainly see deer, deer, hog, and different game trails running through it. Um, I have seen a turkey roost, a few turkeys roost in there, uh, and also we've gotten um, uh, some wood duck off the property in, in uh, January. But today I'm going to go out and I'm going to take what the prior owner left here, and I'm going to go out and try to see if I can't catch some dinner with crawfish. So. So this is my first time crawfishing. Maybe you can learn from my mistakes as I go along or might do all right. And I've got milk bone dog biscuits and I've got grillers uh, made with real steak. The next time I come up, I'm probably gonna get some pogies or menhaden and an oily fish to put in here. But for today, I just wanted to catch dinner and I didn't have anything else. So we're gonna run with these guys right here. One of the things, so I've got two of these, one of the things I did is I mounted a GoPro camera in there. So my game plan is that these crawfish will be coming in here and coming in here. And as they're coming in with the bait in here, I'll be able to catch them on video and see if uh, we can watch the crawfish come in and get caught live and in person or on camera anyway. All right, so I'm gonna go put these in the water. We've got a little bit of weather coming tomorrow morning. I'll get, I'm gonna take a look at that. I'm either gonna leave them out overnight. It's 11 a.m. right now. I'll leave them out overnight and get them first thing in the morning or I'll get them at dusk tonight. Let's get out to the creek. All right, it's in there. Okay, it's on. I don't know how long that's gonna last, but I'll just leave it on all night. We'll see if we get one in there. So this is the biggest beaver dam we have. We've got a handful of them. It's pushing the water up the banks. We'll have to clear this out sometime. Anybody want to come clear a beaver dam, give me a call. Anyway, hopefully this is a good spot.
Wow, what a beautiful creek. It's beautiful this morning. It rained a little bit ago. So this is the next morning. I've just been enjoying the peaceful creek. I can't wait to hunt out here this fall. And uh, so I've got, uh, I'm gonna pull the first trap. I'll pull them all up as, as we go. I'm gonna put them in this container so we can kind of count them out and see how many we get. And uh, these first two traps are ones that I had thrown in just before I started the video yesterday. So we'll check them. And also, if you haven't subscribed, please do. You see right there, I've got a trail camera. And that trail camera, along with another one that's up the creek, uh, I'll plan on posting a uh, probably a weekly video. I'll call it Creek Rise Critter Cam or something like that. Any of that. So if you subscribe, you'll see some of those and just see the critters that are hanging out, going through, playing in, maybe even under and above the, uh, the creek here. So, all right, let's check out these crawfish traps, see what we got. Number one. Oh, I got some, a couple, a couple. All right, more than a couple, they're big too, good size. One, two, three, four, five, six, nice. All right, trap number one, my first, time ever catching crawfish. Look at that. That's good. pretty cool. Alright, how are you grabbing me, buddy? <laughs> First time crawfishing. Alright, so that guy's the biggest. They're not great size, but not bad. Six of them out of the first bucket. Let's go check the next ones. All right, number two, little beaver dam here. This is one of the old homemade ones. And it has Six more. He's grabbing each other there. All right, so this guy didn't do too good. Might be too easy for him to get out. I've got two here. Two. Look at that big homemade jobby. Two more. Three, four, five. All right, two more in there. So let's see. Ooh, our best one yet, I think. Unless that's all leaves. Yeah, it's a pretty good haul. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come here, buddy. Nine. Ten. Cool. Yeah, I got one in. Two. 
Come here. Three. Four. Five. We got four of them in the GoPro cage. Be cool if one of them showed up before the GoPro battery died, but we'll see. All right, guys. Not bad for my first time crawfishing with some dog food and old traps. And uh, that was a fun time hanging out in the creek. Nine traps, 43 crawfish, uh, a lot of little ones in here. I'm gonna chuck the little guys back and uh, make a meal out of the bigger ones. And then in the not too distant future, I'll come out here with some better bait, probably some sort of oily fish, maybe uh, pogies, and um, get them in there and uh, do this for two, three days in a row and see if I can't catch a mess so we can have a little bowl back home. Anyway, thanks for following along. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe along and see what else happens out here in Creek Rise Outdoors. See you guys. Take care.